Hello, this is my final vlog for my intro to cinema class. I chose to do my vlog on Jim Jarmusch's 2006 film, Broken Flowers, starring Bill Murray. Murray plays an older man named Don Johnston, who has a lot of money but lives a very lonely and depressing life. Don has a neighbor named Winston who loves mystery, so when Don receives a mysterious pink letter warning him that a son he never knew about may be out trying to find him, Winston is intrigued, although Don doesn't seem to care. Winston gathers information, creates an itinerary, and sends Don off to visit some of his old girlfriends and hopefully, hopefully find the mother. Don meets all four women on the list, showing up unannounced at their homes with pink flowers, but none of them wrote the letter. One of my favorite aspects of the film are the sets. Jarmusch and the set designer Lydia Marks do a wonderful job of using the settings to relay certain moods and make you feel certain things. For example, when Ever we are in Don's house, we feel lonely and reserved. We feel lonely and reserved. This is because Don's living room is barren with only minimal decoration. You see a coffee table, a TV, and a stereo, but that's about it. And it's always very dark, like it's always the blinds are always closed. In a different scene, Don is at the grave of another woman with his pink flowers, and he looks weary and has a bandaged and bruised face. You feel a sense of defeat and sympathize with him, all because of the dreary setting that he's put in. The designers also use props to tease the audience and Don. They put a basketball hoop at one of the houses, hinting that the son may live there. They also use a lot of pink at one of the woman's houses, hinting that she wrote the pink letter. But that's just more false hope. A few things I noticed is that none of the scenes are particularly bright, meaning there's not a lot of light coming in. Even when we are in Winston's home, his office is dim. There's curtains drawn in almost every scene, and there's never a lot of light. The costumes aren't elaborate or eye-catching. In fact, very every little detail in the film is simple. Nothing really pulls your attention to it. This The film is so much about simplicity, and I love that aspect. The film also utilizes diegetic noises throughout the whole entire thing. All of the sounds that you hear either coming from Don's stereo or the motorcycles outside, they're all within the film. Bill Murray also adds to a lot to this film. Roger Ebert said, no actor is better than Bill Murray at doing nothing at all and being fascinating while not doing it. Many shots in this film focus solely on Don and what he was or was not doing. We are often watching Don simply just sitting or driving, no dialogue, just Don. These shots tell us a lot about him. He is a boring person content with being alone, but he's pathetic at the same time. He is totally okay with just driving around the country with nobody else with him. He doesn't have a problem with that at all. This was one of my favorite movies we watched because it was a different story, not like the mainstream happily ever after movies. It told a story about a sad old man searching through his past. The story isn't complex, but it's interesting, and the images are simple, understated, aesthetically pleasing, and contribute to the story. This is just a wonderful film, and I recommend it for everybody. And that is my final vlog.